everybody. Welcome to Maroolan in beautiful country New South Wales. Not that you'd recognise it. A massive upgrade of this incredible facility greets competitors for round two of the rxoz.com.au Australian Rallycross Championship. I'm Richard Crowe. We're looking forward to the final race in all-wheel drive. It's been a massive weekend so far. There's Aaron Windus. He goes from pole. Troy Dow's got new colours. Darren Windus looking for a first up victory. But the big story is this amazing renovation of Maroland's 1.6 kilometre circuit. To take us for a tour, the driver that starts from pole for our final, here's Aaron Windus. Hello everyone, welcome to Maroland. I'm Aaron Windus, driving the, uh, the Hyundai i20 RX. Are you going to come on board with me for a lap around this place? Unbelievable, the new track here at Maroolan. They've just done a huge makeover to the track. So let's, uh, let's check it out. This is my, uh, this is my pole lap uh, from qualifying. The best lap that I could manage in this car. So we're coming up onto the main straight here. It's, uh, it's pretty heavy braking. We're topped out, sixth gear into turn one. The track now is super wide and we're now coming into basically something off a PlayStation game. This is so nuts. Turn two, turn three, super fast, big camber, and uh, we can really run the car in nice and tight, and back out wide. This corner is nuts, it's, I call it NASCAR corner. Huge long left-hander, we, uh, we have to be really committed. It's a double apex, and now we enter my favorite part of the track, the gravel. So we're coming back to first gear, we'll go back on the handbrake, we want to be really tidy, it is quite slippery on the gravel. Get a good exit, all the way up, now we're going to leave the gravel back onto the tarmac. It's a pretty tight exit here. And uh, close to the wall, onto the exit. And now this is a real, real fast part of the track. Coming down the hill, we're almost uh, almost a sixth gear there. Back down, back down the gears, almost a second. And then uh, into, obviously we don't run the joker lap, which is the outside one for qualifying. So this is the main track, back onto the straight. And uh, that is a... That is a flat out run that uh, around this crazy track of Maroolan. So thanks for coming on board and uh, we'll hope to see you out there soon. And after a zero score in the opening round of the championship, Aaron Windus keen to get his title underway at Maroolan in the opening of three heat races. He led Steve Glennie in the Tech Sport Mitsubishi Lancer into turn one in heat race number one. Troy Dowell and Kahal Carey battled. Carey coming off a strong weekend at the opening round of the championship at Winton back in February. Windus built a commanding margin. The opening couple of laps was never headed in the first four lap dash. Opening his account in style, his first heat win of the season. Heat 2 was an absolute beauty and Jamie Sargent, the reverse grid race, led the field into Turn 1. Troy Dow quickly worked his way through, Carey did the same. While at the back of the field, the Windus boys, Aaron, passed Darren around the back of the circuit. They would continue to fight, but forward progress would be hard to come by in such a competitive field. Troy Dow was sliding as he battled with Steve Glennie, but Glennie on the Jokul lap, right on the final line, had a great run and managed to take the race victory by 0.08 of a second, the third closest winning margin in RX Oz history. Reverse angle shows the great drive, the extra speed from the Joker lap, and just edging out Troy Dow, who had to take evasive action to get his car stopped after a great motor race. Heat three, Darren Windus led Glennie into turn one, Aaron Windus into third, Kahal Carey caught up with Dow and Jamie Sargent, the miners at the back of the field. The Techsport Evo was in great form this weekend, suiting the production class runner this new Marolan circuit. It was a Windus sandwich on the opening couple of laps. Darren Windus trailing smoke didn't hurt the performance though. Glenny had a lead, but the race would come down to the Joker. Aaron Windus edged himself past. Another drag race to the line, but a first time victory to Darren Windus, taking over Justin Dow's car this weekend. To the semi-final and the Windus boys led the field into turn one. 
It was close company though, Cahal Carey continuing his strong RX Oz form and getting himself in the mix. Unfortunately, the Evo would retire from the semi-final after just one lap with mechanical problems. Winder set about building a lead early, while his dad Darren held out attack after attack from Troy Dow. It was a great battle for second place. A recently upgraded VW Polo, now in full open class specifications, was looking good while Aaron Windus pulled away. These two swap positions numerous times. This is a great move into turn two. Darren Windus has been checked up on the exit of the corner. Dow edged his way past. And the closing laps, the two ward over the final step on the podium. The up and go polo though, just edging away in the last couple of laps. In the end, a great victory for Aaron Windus, who set himself up for the final, the commanding win, and slowly buying himself back into championship calculations. Troy Dow a fine second, and Darren Windus a racy third. The final is next. Round two, final time, rxoz.com.au Australian Rallycross Series. Aaron Windus starts from pole. Troy Dow will be alongside in that brand new outright class VW Polo from Active Rally Sport. Darren Windus and Jamie Sargent next. We're go and racing in round two of the championship. It's an important one too for Aaron Windus. Zero points on the board. He has to go well here. Great start. His dad, Darren, looks down the inside. For a moment, three wide. This is big. Windus has got the right line, though, into turn three. Long sweeping left-hander into an even longer one now. Turn four. Sweeping look at Darren Windus around the outside of Troy Dow. Couldn't find the way past. The Volkswagen holds on. To the dirt for the first time. Windus with clear racetrack in front. Great view from the Hyundai i20. Jamie Sargent running in fourth place. We're missing Steve Glenny and Carl Carey, both forced out earlier in the weekend. It's a shame too, because Glenny was in great touch, in particular, brilliant heat race victory earlier on today. Stunning scenes. This amazingly revamped circuit, about halfway between Canberra and Sydney. Big things planned here. This fight for second now continues. Troy Dow holding on from the experienced Darren Windus, former factory driver in the Australian Rally Championship. He's taken over Justin Dow's number one car for this weekend. He was originally running in the S2000 spec polo. That car broke just after qualifying. Car switch, Justin jumped aside. So Darren, take over my car. Go and get yourself some points for your championship. Justin, of course, set out the opening round of the series at Winton earlier this year. So the defending champion, not with a great start to his year, but a great gesture to let Darren Windus drive his car. Darren's son, Aaron, meanwhile, driving the sister Hyundai, is out in front, pulling a margin. This train ripping up, too, as the weekend goes on. It was very, very green this morning. This is quite literally the first ever race meeting on a brand new bitumen surface. So it was very slippery in practice in qualifying. It's rubbing up. It's got better and better over the course of the day. And it is fast. This is the ride with Windus. Watch how quickly he grabs gears. The run into turn four. Fifth gear. Back to fourth. Double apex corner. Transition onto the dirt now. Beautiful layout as well. Into the tight hairpin. First gear. Handbrake. Get some traction with a short shift to second. Very quick now, battling to get the car stopped and turned in for the transition back onto the bitumen, but building his margin. Helped, of course, by the fact these two are still battling over second and third place. New sponsorship on Troy Dow's Polo this weekend. First run for this car, upgraded to outright class specifications. Nigh on 600 brake horsepower from these cars. They are rocket ship fast. This is 
it's going to come down to a joke like battle between these two. He must take that loop at the bottom of the circuit once in every race. You will find yourself penalised and relegated down the field. Winder still finding a way, just a little bit of a love tap perhaps, to the back of the up and go polo. It's a great scrap, but while they're battling, it's just allowing the 22 year old from Ballarat to pull away out in front. Troy just coming off the back of fifth place finish in the opening round of RX Academy up there in Sweden. Doing great things in his junior career. Sloan Cox is here in two-wheel drive this weekend, finished on the podium. Great young rallycross representatives from this part of the world. And that is why he's going so well. Great car control. Usual lap. No joker yet for our race leader. Second and third. to go in this one. Two laps remaining. Long run up to turn one. Lots of runoff there now and a couple of different lines through that corner. Now Winder's just driving superbly and punching out the best lap times he's set all weekend long. This track continues to get better and better. In the final, the semi-final, he set the fastest ever lap of this reconfigured circuit down into the 104s contact little bit of a moment there Dow very sideways through the dirt hairpin it opened the door for Darren Windus but when he tried to go through he found a Volkswagen parked in his way that's as close as they've been all race it's not done with yet about to start the final lap Aaron Windus takes the joker this will close the gap down a little bit. You can see how the margin between first, second and third has closed in. One lap to go. Wind is still pressing on. Just grabs a break into turn one. But his margin is reasonably secure, especially while second and third continue to fight. Wow. Troy Dow is just driving this car so hard. Great natural car control. But every time he slides the car, it just blocks an opportunity for Darren Winders to go through. Into the dirt for the final time. Let's jump on board with our race leader. Gives you a great perspective of where they are on the circuit. A little uphill rise now into this tight chicane. Handbrake needed to rotate the car through there. Gee, this is good to watch. Trying to put nearly 600 brake horsepower to the ground through four-wheel drive rocket ships that are the open-class cars in RX Oz. But this has been a consummately professional performance by the young man from Ballarat in his second season of RX Oz. A zero score at round one after mechanical dramas. Aaron Windus takes round two and gets himself right back into championship calculations. And spins out trying to do a celebration as he crosses the line and he stalled the car as well. Well, that's a big win. He qualified and practiced at Winton, but then the car broke. He had no points there. This was absolutely the way he had to rebound in round two of RX Oz. Great racing. Troy Dow continues to lead the championship though. Jamie Sargent next. Windus now moves to third. His dad in fourth place and Kahal Carey still leads the production class over Darren Windus. That's it for round two of the championship. Keep up to date at rxos.com.au for more information. We'll see you at Winton for round three.